Hey guys, uh, my name is Justin. Hey, I just posted in the forums last night. I'm gonna shoot this, uh, hopefully a quick video, but I wanna try to bring some clarity and um, some understanding to the problem that I'm having. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I've got uh, right now, um, I'm coming directly out of the switcher into, um, directly out of the switcher, HDMI and SDI uh, against two different inputs to the TV, okay? One of them is HDMI directly, program out HDMI directly to the TV in input number one. Um, the other one is SDI out into the micro converter that I was, that we just purchased, that we just installed across the entire church um, on all four of our TVs. Um, I'm going out of, I totally bypassed the distribution unit, so that's not even a factor. Um, traditionally, we would, be, we would be going SDI out into the distribution units and then out to all the TVs in the house, okay? This problem existed with that unit there. That was the first thing I troubleshot and tried to bypass. This TV I'm gonna show you for, just for clarity, is just a test TV. Typically, this is our multi-view TV, and we use a multi-view out HDMI to the TV for all of our camera shots and all of that. Um, again, HDMI out program, SDI program out to the converter. So this is the first one I'm gonna show you on the screen is working flawlessly, HDMI program out um, to the TV. Okay, this is working flawlessly. I've got a quick uh, PowerPoint uh, slideshow presentation, our pre-service presentation, um, just playing in the background with music. That's all this is. Okay, this problem, um, usually the problem that I'm talking about in the forum takes about 10 minutes to produce itself. This HDMI input one has been running for about 20, 25 minutes just to be safe and make sure that it wasn't gonna happen. No issues whatsoever, okay? Running smooth. Sound is, is like it's supposed to. I've just got the switchers, the sound board just turned on. There's no settings adjusted or anything. But even in the, when this problem was first discovered, it was during a full service, full tilt settings, church settings, the way that everything's supposed to be running. Um, that's when we discovered the problem. So the settings on the sound board is not an issue. I can, I'll show you in just a few minutes, I can unplug the sound directly from the switcher and the problem is still there, okay? Um, now I'm going to switch to HDMI number two. On HDMI DMI number two, like I said a while ago, is the um, SDI to HDMI micro converter. Um, going directly from program out SDI from the switcher into the micro converter. I'm going to switch over to number two. I'm going to turn the volume down though because it's kind of loud when the problem uh, makes, shows its ugly face. So here's HDMI number two on the TV. So you don't need to hear that for too long to see. Uh, you don't need to hear that for too long to see that that's a problem, um, and that's what happens across all of our TVs. Whether it, when it, obviously it has to go into the distribution unit and then back out for that problem. Now you heard that problem on HDMI two. For argument's sake, I'm gonna switch it back to HDMI one. Perfect, nothing wrong, okay? The common denominators in this situation are the cable, the SDI cable going from the switcher to the either the converter, um, well, I guess in this situation, the, the micro converter in every case. For argument's sake, I have tried. One, two, sorry, <laughs> I'm backwards here. And then the cable that's connected to it right now, different test cables, and have come up with the same problem every time. I've tried two different branded, completely different branded HDMI cables, one with Ethernet and one without. Um, the, um, the other variable, the other, uh, I've tried two, uh, two different SDI ports and have the same issue. Now we utilize, um, two program outs during standard service. One is going into a deck link card in our Mac and then back out HDMI into our uh, live stream provider, uh, the little box that we have from them. Um, that SDI signal is flawless every week, no sound issues, even since, you know, just a few, just the last week. Um, the other main common denominator in this situation is the micro converters. Now, Unless there's a hidden setting or something within the control panel when you plug them into your computer, 
there's not a whole lot in the way of sound settings that I can adjust. And if I'm wrong, please somebody correct me because I have to remedy this problem. Um, we ran new cable just so that we had fresh coax across the building. Um, it's a 75 ohm RG6Q with uh, BNC connectors at the end. So I know it's not a factor of cable. It's the same um, cable that we've been running um, for months and months since we got their new switcher. We ran all new cable to our, all of our projectors, our um, our TV, our, our one of our one of three TVs that was closest to us, we had already upgraded. Um, no issues whatsoever. It's not on a micro converter though. It's actually going SDI to analog and then um, analog to a TV distribution uh, module. So that's a little bit different setup. But we're trying to upgrade that to the micro converter. The micro converter I have plugged up to this TV is actually the one that needs to go on that TV. But this problem exists on all four TVs on all four micro converters that we purchased. Um, so again, the common denominators are the switcher, number one. Number two is the cable connecting the switcher to the distribution or to the microconverter in this case, in this test case. Um, the other common denominator is the microconverter itself. Um, again, the only other thing I haven't tested and been able to determine whether or not the issue lies is the, setting, uh, the settings in the microconverters itself. So again, any input, greatly appreciated. I got to get out of here, get home. I love you guys. God bless you. Thank you for any uh, any help that you can provide. It's much appreciated. Um, ask me all the questions you can. Uh, uh, hopefully, we can put our minds together. And uh, I'm really hoping it's not a switcher. We've only had the switcher for about four months, I think, right at five, maybe. Um, obviously, it's still under warranty. Um, I don't know what Blackmagic's RMA process. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they have some sort of advanced replacement. If it does turn out to be a switcher issue, I don't think that it is because I've tried multiple ports. The HDMI port works fine on on the program outside. I've tried multiple um, SDI ports out. Same problem. Unless it's just something with those two um, SDI program outs, that would be my only factor. Either two or three. Uh, I think it's three SDI actually on the program outside. Okay, so I forgot to show you the uh, the sound, how we have our sound coming in. I just want to prevent any extra time delay with questions and posting back and forth on the forum because it's the forum, it can take some time. So um, I got the TV turned just a little bit so you can see it. I'm gonna turn the sound up right now. We're going, I've got uh, input number two live right now. Okay, we're going again, program out SDI into our micro converter. Let's use the shakiness here. Micro converter that's down there on the floor. I've kind of just got it chilling on the floor. Okay, and then we're going out HDMI to the TV. Okay, it's muted right now. I'm going to turn the sound up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you real quick. Our sound is coming directly from our uh, sound board, our main big sound board. Okay. Um, this is a professional grade soundboard, not this one, but our main board. Um, okay, we're coming out of that board analog into this, okay? And then we're coming out left and right stereo into the switcher, into the stereo, uh, left and right stereo ports into the switcher, okay? Now I'm gonna turn the TV back up and I'm gonna show you that this problem will continue even with this sound unplugged so that we, we will know at that point that it's not related to sound, okay? So here we go. Okay, the problem is back. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It's kind of loud. I don't want to damage the speakers. Okay, so I'm unplugging the directly from the sound board. Okay. Okay, we're unplugged. We're dangling here. There's nothing connected. That's going directly into the switcher. I would get down there and show you just to give you a little more proof. But there's a lot of cables down here, so problem still exists. We just don't have any sound coming from our board or from our, from our uh, presentation computer, okay? So I'm gonna plug it back in and show you. Okay, so we have sound back. Our sound is back. You can hear it in the, behind all that garbled up interference. Um, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. There's nothing more I can troubleshoot other than replacing the switcher. And I don't have another switcher to test. Not everybody has a $2,000 switcher laying around. So um, anyway, again, thank you for your help. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the long video. I wasted y'all's time. I appreciate your help, though. Um, any clarity, any help, much appreciated. Out.